my topic is about a study on employee job satisfaction in a company uh, so we all know that what is uh, job satisfaction so job satisfaction is like we are going to analyze how the employees are satisfied with their uh, work or whatever the functions they are carrying out inside the organization so job is like the work whatever they are proceeding on and satisfaction is like whether they are satisfied to do that particular work or they are dissatisfied if they are satisfied what we are going to do is we are going to measure those analysis and we are going to take what are the effective measures that's been uh, carried on with if they are dissatisfied what we are going to do is we are going to analyze how why they are dissatisfied and why they, what what was the main cause for that dis dissatisfaction we are going to analyze all those and we are going to predict it out so first is the title is like a study on employee job satisfaction and next next is like abstract so abstract is uh, this describes the short term description about the project so this would come this uh, this abstract would contain maximum of 500 words actually so this uh, abstract is like it describes the uh, complete project into a single uh, like into a easy way into a easy uh, description of processes so employee job satisfaction uh, so this uh, what I'm going to do in this uh, project and what I'm going to find out in this project and all would be analyzed in this abstract itself so I'm going to depart like I'm going to start study about the level of satisfaction among the employees while working uh, and I'm going to prepare a set of questionnaires uh, for this particular topic and I'm going to circulate it among the employees in order to uh, gather the data as and all so I'm going to I'm going to determine I'm going to uh, like analyze the satisfaction level of employees completely so that one is like abstract and next I will be having my table of contents so table of contents is like what are the contents that I have included into my project report so that will be described over here and next is list of tables list of tables is like what are the like uh, tables table of contents and all for data analysis and interpretation part and all i would have uh, taken some set of tables parts and all so that one so table and then the chart pie chart bar chart or whatever whatever it may be so that one and next is like i'm getting into chapter one so chapter one is like introduction so you, uh, introduction is general introduction about the particular uh, project area what i have chosen for uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just describe uh, the particular topic what i've taken for my study uh, so this uh, in while developing or while constructing this introduction part what i wanted to do is first i should start initially with the definition of a uh, topic so after going up with definition next I wanted to describe how this job satisfaction is taken up so first I, I wanted to HR like HR is the one who is going to analyze the employees performance job satisfaction process and all so the employee is the one who is going to monitor this sets of process also so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this into part I'm going to work on with that so first initially I have to explain about human resource department and next I wanted to describe the title what I've chosen for my project topic so if I have taken employees job satisfaction so I wanted to describe that into a complete uh, four to three pages of three to four pages of content and I want to uh, construct it out uh, so in this uh, you if you see in this content uh, so first I have my definition for my uh, uh, job satisfaction so that definition is like the various authors would have published their own suggestions and their own uh, processes and also I'm going to take that as an uh, uh, process uh, that as an example I'm going to work on with that so like their uh, how they feel about so I'm going to just analyze a particular employees uh, uh, mind work and all so if our employee is working so how will he will think about and how he will do his work how, how he will uh, feel about the work what is doing uh, are he interested in doing up uh, with the wo work whatever is being carried out and all I'm going to analyze in that so I'm going to develop uh, I'm, if if an employee is satisfied in his job only so he will give his output as satisfied as with if uh, he is not interested to do then there will be a uh, dissatisfaction that's been occurring so we wanted to analyze and we wanted to, to overcome that dissatisfaction measure and I, I have to work on with that so that particular construction would be done over here so satisfying the work process I wanted to provide a good job security processes I wanted to provide more opportunities for employees processes and all so as of their work experiences work processes I wanted to provide them the uh, salary or benefits or whatever it may be whatever the extra benefits they want from the organizations I wanted to provide that particular source 
uh, as of their need, as of their need process. So flexible work timings. I wanted to provide them some leave processes if they want. So those and all work environment. Uh, like if they are good, if they are getting me more productivity or something. So how I am going to help them out with the extra benefits process. So that should include. It. So increasing the now uh, why if I am going doing all these processes, the employee would get some uh, satisfaction uh, while he is doing his work. Like I am getting this process, I am getting the output for that. So that satisfaction would enhance the employee to work more. So that one. So employee job satisfaction. And next is like company profile. So we know company profile. Like what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a particular uh, industry and I'm going to work on with that. Maximum here I would I have taken software sector only. So I have taken a software industry and I'm I am working on with that uh, particular uh, uh, document. So company profile is like I'm going to explain the complete information related to the organization. Like first I'll explain when was the organization started up, what was the functions that's been carried out and uh, who are the board of directors, those who are coordinating the organization, what are the products that they have developed and they are selling out. So those informations and all will be included in this company profile. So here you can see history of company. And then the location, area of focus, and then what are the process they are carrying out and all. And next after completing that, I would get into my industry profile. So industry profile is like, I'm going to describe the particular industry. If I'm, now I have taken software industry. So I wanted to explain the IT sector. So IT sector in the sense, until now this current year, like 2021, how is the current growth of IT sector and how they are working on, how the employment process, employment generation processes is carrying out. So that one, that particular sector, that particular process, I will explain in this industry profile and next I am getting into my objectives of study so this one is the main part actually so objectives is like I have two sets actually primary and secondary data so primary data is the one that I have taken for my project and secondary data is, is based on my question is what I am going to prepare so based on this particular topics only I am going to prepare a set of questions and I am going to work on with that so for this I have taken like what are the company's vision and mission statements they are carrying out, how the employees are satisfied, what are the compensation benefits that's been proceeded, for, proceeded on for an employee and all I am explaining it out. So that one, objectives of study and then importance. Importance is like it is same as the need of study and all. Uh, so uh, what are the needs they want, if they, if they are not satisfied what we wanted to do, what we wanted to analyze in order to, if I wanted to increase my productivity or whatever it may be, what I wanted to do for that uh, pro particular stages process. So that one I am going to explain in that. And next is like scope. Scope is how I'm going to increase my career growth, how I'm going to provide uh, same as compensation benefits, training and development, performance appraisals, whatever it may be. So that, that will include in the scope process. Like whatever the benefits I'm going to provide for an employee. So that will include in this uh, particular topic what I've taken. So it is completely a sector which is being explained for an uh, em employee, particular employee. And next is like limitations of project. Limitations is like while developing this project, what are the problems I have faced while developing this project, particular project. Uh, so I would not have uh, correct answers or correct appropriate solutions for the problem what has been occurred. Some respondents would have some fear or something to, to uh, flexible out or whatever it may be. So those struggles those process and all i have taken into survey like uh, simple sample size like the, we have like most sectors which have uh, different uh, branches or whatever it may be so i could not collect the data from all over that uh, sector and i could not work on with that so if the some employees were uh, very lazy to spell out uh, the questions or whatever it may be so th that one would include in this limitations of product and next is like chapterization. So this chapterization is like whatever the contents I have included into my project report, like each and every chapter, like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, four and five, what are the contents I have, I have included into my each and every chapter content. So that I have described in a simple crispy way. So that one is, that one is this uh, chapterization. And next is I'm getting into check-in chapter. So second chapter is like review of literature. So we know what is review of literature. So review of literature is like secondary data only. So what I'm going to do is I have a before referenced paper or before published papers would be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, grab out the data from that particular uh, author's uh, process or something and I'm going to work on with that. So that one. So review of literature is like uh, it is based on the before referenced paper processes and all. 
so in this review of literature uh, like i am going to uh, what i am going to do is i am going to like take a set of papers uh, like uh, year year wise i am going to segregate it okay? like current year if it is 2021 so until this 2021 what are the papers that's been published uh, in various uh, sites i am going to grab all those data and uh, what i am going to do is i am going to check out what are the problems they they have faced while uh, initializing their project process and all so i am going to work out and i am going to take a survey like i am going to find out the problems uh, and then i am going to explain that particular i am going to take that particular problem and i am going to explain on with that so you can see like various authors would have various uh, processes like here you can see that they were be satisfied with the most of the determinant processes and all and uh, like they would not have some some uh, so like some uh, employees would have some miscomforts to color to go over to uh, like what to communicate with their team leads or team members or whatever it may be so how they have overcome all those processes so what will happen in private and public sector uh, companies or uh, banks sectors or whatever it may be so i'm going to take the uh, year wise i'm going to uh, take out the data and i'm going to proceed on with that so what that is review of literature and then in third chapter i have my research methodology so research methodology is like i am going to take uh, like i am going to uh, i am going to explain what are the tools i am going to use for, uh, for this particular survey and what i am going to uh, do for this process either i am going to proceed on with primary data or secondary data processes so in this research methodology uh, like what i am going to do is i am going to just uh, Uh, take uh, like i'm going to just explain uh, what are the tire tools i have used and what are the how i'm going to collect the data and how much is the sample size i have taken for my survey so those i am going to uh, clear out in this uh, particular topic so research methodology is like it completely describes about the tools techniques and processes that's been carried out Uh, so in research methodology i have two sets actually one is of uh, quantitative and another one is of qualitative uh, so quantitative is like uh, i'm going to find out how much is the size of uh, project that i have been carried out uh, if you go up with qualitative so it defines about the uh, quality process uh, worth of project and all so quantitative is like i'm going to find out how much is the size i have taken for my project and next is this qualitative so that one is like the quality what are what is the quality what is the work function of a project worth of a project that's been carried out and next in this we have two sets actually as described in the before uh, content that is primary data and secondary data so primary data is like it is based on the general survey uh, interview process questioners method and all so for questioners and all we would use some would use linear scale process some would use multiple choice questions and all so that one if you go up with secondary data so that it is completely like the data which is available already so i am going to take that particular data and i am going to work on with that so here also you can see that first is research methodology and next population and then the data collection method what i have used how much is the total size i have taken for my project so i have taken two sets actually two tools actually percentage and chart analysis so i am going to take on with that so questioners method so how i have taken my question either it is of a direct question or uh, it is of multiple choice question or whatever it may be so i am going to proceed on mostly i used to carry out only multiple choice questions at times i used to go up with that uh, like what direct questions or something so sample size is i have taken one not one sample like design process tools what all i have used and all percentage analysis chart and next i am getting into chapter 4 so chapter 4 is like completely it is of data analysis and interpretation so i am going to just analyze the data uh, first of all i will be creating uh, i'll be preparing a set of questions actually so after preparing that questions i'll generate a google form for that and i'll share that particular google form with my uh, with my employees or some whomever it may be and i'm getting the response from them so after collecting the responses i need to go up with this data collection and data analysis and interpretation part so data collection and interpretation is like uh, by, with the help of those respondents what i'm going to do is i am going to take the uh, report i am going to take the survey and i'm going to proceed on with so in this you have your uh, this is the table and below you have your chart so this is your chart so first is like uh, i have you know that i have taken one not one as uh, response actually so one not one employees have responded so i need to write uh, the interpretation for this 
so interpretation is like higher to lower or how whatever i can take in any ways higher to lower or whatever in ways whatever ways i wanted to take i can take in that uh, particular space and i can work on with so around how um, 80 percentage of uh, employees or majority of 80 percentage of employees or whatever it may be so i need to write an interpretation i need to describe that particular table and i have to proceed on with that and then employees like i am going to create a chart for it so table and then chart for whatever the questions i have prepared i am going to create a set of table and a chart for that so that one so i'll be analyzing the data and some would be using some sets of statistical tools for finding out the variations and also the uh, like variations and also the description related to the project work so this is completely the analysis of Imp like data analysis and interpretate in chapter 5 I have my uh, findings and suggestions for my project so findings is it is based on the analyzed data so uh, like whatever the interpretations I have taken so in that interpretation if I find out any problem or any drawbacks in that so I'm going to take only that particular data and I'm going to work on with that so that one so the, that is like findings suggestions it's like based on the drawbacks whatever I have found it out so for that I'm going to provide them some satisfaction like I'm going to provide them some uh, uh, measures or I'm going to provide them some uh, uh, recommendations for that product suggestions I'm going to provide some suggestions for overcoming those drawbacks so like I have found out some like some were not satisfied with the work role current work role whatever they are carrying out somewhere some uh, would be getting some workload or some whatever it may be so through that process also they would get satisfied dissatisfied uh, so some uh, some of the employees those who are working are neutralized by, like uh, neutralized and they are uh, uh, normal with the work complete uh, work process if they have a negative sector or also the organization is checking out the corrective measures to go proceed on with that so overall the satisfaction level of the organization is looking satisfied and the employees those who are working inside the organization also feel satisfied while they are proceeding on with so suggestions and recommendation conclusion is like i'm concluding the overall project like i am very well satisfied that i get an opportunity for working up with this particular organization so whatever the knowledge he has gained from the sector so he, i'm going to explain all those processes like uh, how, how the employees were behaving how the job process was how the uh, like what are the security measures they were providing for employees so those and all would include and next is like in chapter 6 I have my questioners so whatever the analysis part I have done for that I will have my questioners in that so first is questioners and then below I have my references that is like bibliography so what are the references what are the publications papers that I have referred for doing this project so those and all will include so this is the complete project report that's been uh, carried on with so thank you so much